Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some cool updates coming to Linux Mint and LMD7. So um, get comfy and let's talk about what's new. Hey folks, what's up? Today we're going to break down some super exciting news from the Linux Mint project. If you're into Linux, you'll definitely want to stick around for this. So um, let's get right into it. All right, so first off, Linux Mint is making a big move with LMD7. The project leader, Clement Lefebvre, just revealed in the monthly newsletter that the next major version of LMDE, which is based on the upcoming Debian Linux 13 Trixie series, will now support OEM installations. What does that mean? Well, with OEM installs, Linux Mint can be pre-installed on computers that are sold all around the world. This is a huge step forward since it's one of the last features that hadn't been supported by LMDE until now. It also opens up the possibility for individuals who are donating or selling their computers to take advantage of this functionality. Um, it's really a game changer for both manufacturers and end users alike. Moving on, there's more awesome stuff coming up in the Linux Mint ecosystem. Clement also mentioned that the Nemo File Manager, which is a core component of the Cinnamon desktop environment, is getting a cool new update. The search functionality is being enhanced with a new filter that uses regular expressions to find files by their file names. This means you'll be able to locate your files even more efficiently. Imagine searching for files by patterns and getting incredibly accurate results. It's all about making your workflow smoother and faster. Um, this update will be rolling out in an upcoming Nemo release, so keep an eye out for that if you're a Linux Mint user. Now let's talk about the Cinnamon desktop environment. For those of you who are excited about the Wayland session, yes, it's still considered experimental, but there are some promising improvements on the horizon. The Mint team is working hard to add support for keyboard layouts and input methods on the Wayland session. So um, while the Wayland session is already functional as of Linux Mint 21.3, there's still some work to be done, especially when it comes to supporting toolkits and input for Asian languages. Clement mentioned that the team just needs a bit more time to finalize and properly test these features. If you're an early adopter of Wayland on Cinnamon, this update is definitely something you'll want to check out. And lastly, we've got some technical but important news about the Cinnamon desktop environment itself. The developers are planning to change the version numbering for CJS, the JavaScript engine that powers Cinnamon. From now on, CJS will be versioned according to the Mozilla JavaScript engine it uses, and it will update independently from Cinnamon. This change is particularly beneficial for Linux distributions like Debian and Ubuntu, making it easier to ship Cinnamon without the hassle of maintaining multiple versions of the Mozilla engine. Um, it's a behind-the-scenes update that promises to streamline things significantly for developers and users alike. So there you have it. A quick rundown of the major updates from Linux Mint and LMDE 7. Whether you're a developer, a power user, or just someone who loves a great Linux distro, these changes are set to enhance your experience big time. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more updates on uh, Linux Mint, and... Um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on these new features. What are you most excited about? Thanks for watching and until next time, keep on tinkering and stay awesome.